Hello everyone, welcome to another Contrast Paint video and today we have for you another Marvel Crisis Protocol Mini, the Red Skull, who I may accidentally call Red Hood just because of force of habit. Once or twice, apologies if I don't catch myself. So this is Atomic Mass Games, you've seen the Iron Man video, hopefully, and then also the unboxing of what you get in the core set. This is one of the last few miniatures to paint from that. So we're going to be seeing a lot of Black Templar contrast on offer today. He actually has kind of like a two-tone black trench coat on according to the official art which I have on my monitor to my side here. Might go over while it's still wet with like a wormwood contrast brown on the straps just to make those stand out. It's kind of like the opposite way around on the official art but I'm used to him wearing like a the, the all black Hydra uniform. And of course he's going to have, well he's either going to have Blood Angel red for his head or Flesh Terror red. I'm not sure which yet. I, it'll probably be Blood Angel Red. I feel like that's the proper colour for it. And for he's got a little Hydra insignia on his shoulder there. It's going to get done with that too. Uh, it'll be Basilicum Grey on the base. For the Tesseract, probably going to be mm, Talisar Blue. Then with a, a non-contrast paint applied in the middle of each section to, sh to try and create the impression of light. And then once it's all dry, probably go over it with some hard coat to give it a shine. Because it's kind of reflective. That's the plan as we get started, subject to change as we go. But for the first time lapse, we are going to see Black Templar basically applied to everything other than his hands, the, the cube in his face. That's it. Let's get started. So due to it being a very dank and rainy day, unfortunately, we don't have great lighting. Also, that just went out of focus, didn't it? Mr. Red Skull, you're clearly harnessing too much of the Tesseract's power. Could you be in focus? I think that might be in focus. Either way, we're here to talk about uh, the Black Templar. I am, I am a fan of it. It's a little not dark enough in areas if you really want like a pure sleek black look for stuff that's like shiny and whatnot. But for trench coats, for that sort of thing, I like the effect. Honestly, like putting some hard coat, like a very, very thin hard coat over this would make it look shiny if you wanted to do like a leather look. Anyway, what we're moving on to now though, I just did some grey sear real quick to clean up the Tesseract in his face and also the, the Hydra logo on his arm. So we're going to use Blood Angel's contrast on his face, on that. At the same time, we're going to use Basilicum Grey to do all the base except the outer rim, which is just going to be a, a bad and black after it's all dried and Talisar Blue for the Tesseract as previously discussed and then while it's wet a dusting of Calgar Blue in the central part of each one. If it doesn't blend very well I'll just go back to the Talisar Blue between setups. But as far as the next time skip that's what we're doing. We're going to do red, blue, grey in that order. And let's see how it turns out. So we almost have the, almost called him Red Hood, Red Skull finished, I think it's because of the black on his trench coat that's making the autofocus go nuts. So I'm not going to try and touch anything yet. There is still some things left to do. Need to go around the outer rim with black. Uh, need to pick out some gold buttons and whatnot on his trench coat. But other than that, he will be done. And I think that covers everything that I wanted to talk about. So there'll be a quick fade out here and we'll be back with the finished miniature. So apologies again for the lighting and for Red Skull's refusal to be 
in focus for any longer than a couple of seconds, but we do have the finished model here. I'm not sure I can do my trademark Ghetto 360 spin, because I think it's just going to be out of focus for the whole thing, but that looks like it's moderately in focus. The Basilicum Grey on these Atomic Mass Game bases, with all the cracks and such like that they put in, picks it out really, really well. Tesseract, it's shiny because it had hard coat on it. It doesn't have kind of like the one bright side that I was trying for. The mixing the normal paint with the contrast while it's wet doesn't work. Contrast mixing with contrast works great, but uh, not if you're mixing two mediums together. But it looks okay. Because I can't get it totally in focus just because of the nature of the model apparently, I, I assume it's because of the black and because it's quite a, a danky. I've got to show you just for size comparison's sake, unpainted, unbase coated and whatever else. But this is the Hulk miniature, which I will be doing a painting video on eventually. Look how much he dwarfs. He's going to take the Tesseract. Look how much he dwarfs. Poor. Almost called him Red Hood again. Red Skull. So, yeah, that's how big the Hulk model is. So, that's not going to be the next painting video, but it will be a painting video in the future. Even he's having trouble getting into focus, huh? It's, it's the lighting. It's, it's all I can blame. It's throwing things off, because that's kind of in focus, but yeah. I think they oversized the Hulk a little bit. I know he's much bigger than a standard human, but even that, that seems a little bit too much. But I guess it's to make him a very imposing target on the battlefield. Speaking of which, we'll be able to do our first test game of Crisis Protocol very soon. So look out for that in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video. Again, I apologise for the lighting and for the uncooperative miniature. Oh, finally, that's in perfect focus. Because he knows I'm doing the outro. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Thank you very much for watching. See you next time. Ta-ta for now.